to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you around my new beauty slash office room. And it's this room that you guys are seeing right now. I'm going to be touring you guys around and I'm super excited about this because if you've been following me since day one then I'm pretty sure you know that I take home decor way too seriously it's one of my favorite things like honestly I play the game Sims not because I enjoy playing with the characters but because I like decorating the houses. Before we get started, I just want to mention a few things because I always get questions. So this is my beauty slash office space. This is completely different from me and Arnold's bedroom. I would never torture him with this many girly things. So this is not the room I share with Arnold, but give this video a big thumbs up or let me know down in the comment section below if you guys would like to see a bedroom room tour, which is like the room I share with Arnold. So. Just keep that in mind because there's definitely a lot of super girly things in this room. We have our own separate offices, like he has his own room for his stuff and I have my own room for, you know, my girly stuff. <laughs> also this room is a work in progress. I'm very fickle minded and I like to switch things around, move things around. So whatever it looks like right now may change within a month. Who knows? Who knows? If it does, I'll definitely give you guys another room tour. But for the most part, it's gonna look like this. This is the current state, if you will. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy room tours. And again, if you want me to do a separate room tour video of me and Arnold's bedroom, also give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, let's do this. All right, so we're starting off outside my door. And once you open it up, here it is. Here's an overview of what the entire room looks like. Starting from the left side, I have my ladder bookshelf that I've actually had for years and years now. It's actually falling apart already, but I refuse to let it go. I refuse, okay? So the top shelf, I have one of my favorite quotes. It says, the best things in life aren't things. And I also have this really cute white pineapple. Moving on to the next shelf, there's a few things going on here. I have this really pretty gold plant holder and inside of it is a fake plant. I got both of them from Marshalls. And the best part, you guys, the plant is fake. You know, I don't have to worry about taking care of it. Right next to it, I just have a few books that look aesthetically pleasing to me so I put them there and right on top are Polaroid photos of me and Arnold and um, yeah moving on to the next shelf here I have more books and notebooks I also have this super cute plant um, it's also fake in case you were wondering right behind I have a vintage-esque frame that I got from a flea market I think I want to put photos on it but for now I'm just gonna leave it like that the marbled candle is from Target and the book underneath is Coco Chanel all right so this shelf is a work in progress there's still things in here that I want to add but this is what it looks like right now I have a Polaroid holder I just realized Blake's not in any of these photos whoops <laughs> the Polaroid holder is from Amazon and the book underneath is by H&M and then I just have a random cactus thingy in the back it's also fake got it from Target I also have my Himalayan lamp that I bought from Amazon this thing is super cool especially at night when I turn it on I think it gives me a sense of calmness it helps me unwind I also really like how you can dim it if the light is too harsh. The last shelf, I have a few things that I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put them, especially this beautiful box of roses. Arnold gave this to me, they're infinity roses, meaning they last for about a year and they definitely do not belong on the bottom shelf, so they're definitely going to move. They're just kind of living here for now, temporarily. <laughs> let me know if you guys have suggestions on where I should put it. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. I also have this train case thingy, Maybelline gifted this to me which I thought was so sweet and thoughtful it even has my name on it Next, I have my white and gold floor lamp from Target. I'm also planning on putting my white record player underneath, but I can't find it right now. It's still in boxes, so pretend it's there. Use your imagination. All right, moving on to my day bed. I need you guys' help on this one. I have really high ceilings, and right now, my walls are currently bare. It looks really empty, so let me know what you guys think I should put. Should I put picture frames, Polaroid photos? Let me know your suggestions 
suggestions down in the comment section. So the day bed I got from Ikea and then the pillows are either from Marshalls, Home Goods, um, Hobby Lobby, Target. I also have some extra pillows in the back hiding just in case I want to switch the pillows around. So this day bed also comes with these little drawers underneath. The knobs used to be black but Anne helped me switch them out for these marbled knobs that I got from Target. These drawers are actually really big and wide. They fit so much stuff inside of it but we're not going to open them right now because <laughs> It's it's messy. Yep. Also this day bed pulls out and it becomes a queen size bed. It's actually pretty big It's like a undercover really big bed <laughs> right over here I have my little marbled table that I got from Marshall's it definitely comes in handy Especially when I'm sitting on my bed editing and doing voiceovers like right now <laughs> I also have this little white chevron rug that I got from Target. It was $29 from the kids section All right, so now moving on to the office side of my room and I think this is my favorite part of the room I think it's very clean chic very simple but there's also pops of colors I have my favorite books on the left side these books are by Adam J Kurtz and I also have a little kitty notepad and then underneath I have this notepad it was a gift from Maybelline and that's me right there they got an illustrator to draw me I just think it's super cute and pretty so I like to keep it here on the right side I have more notebooks I got them from either Marshalls or home goods and then I have a little plant a fake plant from Target and my little diffuser thingy mabob I don't really know what to call it I got the acrylic table from CB2 acrylic chair from Amazon and the little faux fur rug on top of the chair is from Marshalls and to the right side of my little office corner I have these French doors and this is the view of Los Angeles from my room. I'm so grateful that this is what I get to look at every single day. Seriously, I feel so lucky. I'm never taking it for granted. Um, so now moving on to the beauty side of my room. This is kind of like the same setup I had from my previous office slash beauty room. The small gold mirror I got from Target, that little candle I got from Home Goods, fake flowers from I believe Marshalls. The big white lengthy mirror I got from Home Goods years and years ago. The acrylic table is from CB2 and this faux sheepskin bench is from Home Goods. And that big closet over on the right side is where I keep all of my makeups, all of my beauty stuff, but <laughs> It's very messy in there, so we're not gonna open it. And on this side, I have another plain wall. Don't know what to do with it. Please let me know down in the comment section if you guys have suggestions. And on this side, I have my 1 million subscribers gold play button from YouTube. And I really want to hang this, but it's so heavy and I'm afraid it's gonna hit me and I'm gonna die from it so let me know if you guys also have suggestions on where I should put this all right you guys so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you guys have any questions for me be sure to let me know down in the comment section below be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video and I love you have an amazing day and I'll see you soon mm -hmm.